The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Christopher Roberts. Joining me now, she is in, uh, She where is she? She is uh, in Seattle, Washington. She is a QHHT practitioner in private practice. She'll tell us what that is in a moment. But ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Von Golt to the program. Von, welcome. How are you today? Hi. Hi. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. That's good to hear. Well, welcome to the program. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And um, why don't you start us off? Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Well, I am a quantum healing hypnosis technique practitioner here in Seattle, Washington. Um, that is short for QHHT. And it is a hypnosis technique developed by the late hypnotherapist and author Dolores Cannon. And what the technique does is it regresses patients through their chosen incarnations, answers their questions that they have, and then we have a candid conversation with the oversoul about this person's journey so far. And um, what often people ask about is, what is the oversoul that QHHT practitioners like myself um, do and have? What is it? So what the oversoul is, it is a universal consciousness in all beings, and some would call it God, some call it the universe source. It doesn't really matter what you call it. But it's a being inside everything, everyone. Um, and that's what I do. I'm a QHHT practitioner. All righty. Now, um, how can uh, QHHT help empower people? Well, um, QHHT empowers people who seek it um, for answers to issues that they struggle to get clarity on in their life. If they struggle with a tough relationship or a childhood trauma or an illness, um, then they can have a direct conversation with the oversoul to help them understand the reasoning behind that experience and learn and grow from it. And if it is meant for them to heal that issue in the session, then the oversoul will do that with the disclaimer that the person not repeat the bad habits that form that issue in the first place because it will come back as a lesson to learn. So if, um, if the soul plan to live with a certain handicap or an illness for their own soul's evolution and for their own, um, then they will stay the course. If it is meant for them in their life plan to overcome that challenge, then this modality can help them get clarity and then work on overcoming those challenges as well. All righty. Now, um, what kind of background does uh, somebody need to uh, be able to do what you do? Well, um, so my background, um, I was born and raised in the spiritual tradition of Buddhism. I'm Laotian, and I've had over 40 years of training in consciousness and manifestation through the quantum studies in the Buddhist tradition. Um, I even wrote a book um, in Buddhism that is on Amazon called Buddhist Guide to Manifest Parallel Realities. So I got into QHHT and becoming a practitioner after reading many of Loris Cannon's books and lectures, and she spoke about a lot of the things that were interesting to me, which were reincarnation, life planning, old souls, manifesting parallel realities, and these are all topics that are in uh, the basics of the advanced studies in Buddhism, in the mysticism of the tradition. And so it was right into, uh, you know, kind of my upbringing and philosophy that I was already immersed in, Um, and so it just added another level to practicing the things that I knew and to taking it to kind of help other people. So I really appreciate the journey as that's taking me to become a practitioner. All righty. So uh, when uh, you know, where do you see yourself uh, moving forward? What's uh, what's going to be on tap for you? Well, um, moving forward, I see myself continuing to do QHHT. 
Um, I see myself continuing to continue to write um, and speak about this modality and how it can help people. And um, just continuing to bring the message to people that, um, you know, you've always been enough. The time is now to build the life of your dream. And what makes the Oversoul extremely happy is to see every single one of its creations use the gifts that it's been given to enjoy the present moment. And that's really the overall goal of every sentient being. All righty. Now, um, how can uh, how can my audience reach out and contact you if they wanted to find out more information? Well, they can find me um, as a registered QHHT practitioner on the DoloresCannon.com website. And they can also find me and my contact information through my website, which is MerkabaChakras.com, M-E-R-K-A-B-A, Chakras.com. So I am very quick to respond to people and answer their questions, and if it is meant for them to have a session with me, then um, we will organize that session. But I don't really do any advertising. The people that do find me find me um, in very unique ways, and many of them say that their angels found them, or they just toss, close their eyes and toss their um, something on the screen and just hit me, and just, <laughs> I've heard a lot of random stories for how they find me. Um, I even had somebody say that their computer shut down, they could not turn it on, they turned it on, and the page was up. <laughs> okay. And they, yeah, so, I, and they had that. I, I just recently regressed um, a, hotel, a hotel owner who was like, I'm going to find somebody in my area, we've been wanting to do it for years, and she went to the site and just did a circle, opened it up, and just hit hit my name, and it happened to be I was the closest person to where she was living, of all the practitioners, just randomly. So um, I've heard many different ways in which people find me, and it's usually some kind of mystical way in which they find my information. So it's always very funny um, that... Um, their angels and their guides are looking out for them and kind of pushing them. It's it's time to move on. So, you know, get yourself towards ascension, awakening, and manifest parallel realities that are in line with what your soul has set for you to experience. All righty. Well, uh, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you mm-hmm. so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're quite welcome. And uh, for everyone else out there, do stick around. We will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. They'll challenge your authority. They'll try to break your will. They'll push you to the edge of your sanity. Because that's what kids do. But this car is your territory, not theirs. Defend it. Who makes the payments? Who cleans it? Who drives it? You do. That's who. And in here, your word is law. So when you say you won't move until everyone's buckled up, you won't budge an inch until you hear that click. Never give up until they buckle up. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. For more information, visit safercar.gov slash kidsbuckleup.